Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new little office setup. So over the weekend on Friday, my new desk came in that I ordered. I put it together Friday night and today, Monday, is the first work day that I'm able to use my new work setup, but I'm so freaking excited about it. I finally have an area to work. I've never really had a desk to work at. I mean, I could work at my kitchen table. Most of the time I just worked at my couch, which I absolutely hated. So I was like, you know what? It's time. I need a desk. I need a workstation. So here it is. So today we're going to be shipping out my weekend sales together. Today is Monday, April 22nd, I believe. I always have a trouble with the date. <laughs> But it's Monday. I had a decent amount of sales over the weekend. So I ended up having 17 eBay sales. eBay is always my number one platform. I had four Poshmark sales, seven Depop sales, which is really good. I think that's the most Depop sales I've ever had in one weekend. And then one little Mercari sale. And then also I actually just made another Mercari sale about a half an hour ago. And that was a vintage Victoria's Secret gold label little Teddy. I just listed this like a week ago. I had it listed at $32 and the buyer sent me a $27 offer. Like I said on Mercari, I went ahead and accepted, of course, especially now that Mercari has no fees, like, you know, $27 is what the buyer offered and $27 is what is gonna be deposited into my bank account. And I only paid a dollar and 16 cents for that. So we don't have that piece here today because like I said, I just sold that, but everything else I'm gonna be shipping with you guys. I'm gonna be going over the sales details everything like that. But first, I want to show you my little office setup, my little space here that I have. So here she is in all her glory. I am so excited, you guys. I feel like this desk fits perfectly here. At first, I had the computer on this side, but I'm like, you know what? I'd rather have it over here. Then I can see like this way. And that way, I'm just kind of facing the wall but yes you guys I put up this new pegboard set the desk if you guys didn't see I did make a YouTube short on it kind of the before and after of this area but I'm really loving it it's definitely not perfect like underneath there but it's a work in progress let me show you guys around a little bit so I have an l-shaped desk which I really wanted because I wanted a place that I could put my computer and then I wanted a little place that I could kind of ship packages so this area is going to kind of be my shipping area my work area and you guys look at this lamp I literally found this at the thrift store on Friday which like I said was the day that my desk came in honestly I never even really thought about having a lamp I never honestly really thought about having a lamp in this area, but when I saw this, I knew I had to have it and I feel like it's perfect and it looks so pretty at nighttime. But yeah, you guys, look at this gorgeous vintage lamp. It swivels. I'm so sorry for the noise in the background. There's people mowing, the contractors are upstairs. I just can't get a break. But yeah, you guys, this pegboard is definitely a work in progress. But I am obsessed. I've worked here a couple times over the weekend and it was amazing. I also got myself this over the weekend. I found it on Friday. I thought that was so cute. I swear I can't catch a break. The lawnmower is directly outside this window. I have to package these sales right now, like whether I film or not. I really wanted to film though and I'm gonna be really upset if I can't. So let's just try this, you guys. We're gonna start with my Poshmark sales. So the first piece that sold were these yellow J. Crew chino pants. Also, you guys, I went ahead and put everything in clear poly bags a while. I always do that after I pull my sales, before I ship them. I went ahead and did that off camera a while. So I've had these listed for only about a month. A buyer sent me a $20 offer and I went ahead and accepted that. So normally with all Poshmark orders, I will use this Tyvek envelope. This is literally the only one I have. I really need to go get some more. So I will use that for this. And then the other orders, I probably will just use poly mailers. But I like using these because they're free. And with Poshmark, you can ship in any priority package, like um, envelope, box, anything like that. So I really like to use the free ones for Poshmark. So I didn't realize I was running so low. The next Poshmark sale we have is this kind of shirt dress, Aztec. The brand was Winter Sun. It was vintage. The buyer sent me a $22 offer on this. I've had this for about five months or so, a decent amount of time. So when a buyer sent me a $22 offer, I went ahead and accepted. Pretty much everything that I'm showing you today, I got from the Goodwill bins. 
So I only paid a little over a dollar for every piece. So I am really willing to accept offers on almost anything. How have your guys' sales been? I feel like March really, really picked up. And April has kind of just been steady, you know? It didn't really pick up any more than March did, but it also didn't slow down. Um, so, you know, definitely not complaining. This next order is a piece I've had forever, for about a year. This was by the brand Misha. It was a zebra kind of wrap top. Buyer sent me a $10 offer. I absolutely accepted. That's probably a piece I would have gotten rid of during my inventory purge had I gotten to that yet, but I didn't. So $10 and yeah, glad to see it go. This next piece was a really, really fast sale. This was a 100% linen dress. The brand was Terzo something. I forget what the second word was, but it was made in Italy, 100% linen, which is always a great sign this time of year. I sent a buyer a $24 offer. They accepted. And with Poshmark, you guys, I don't know if this is all the time now. I feel like I am not having to give out any discounts anymore on shipping on Poshmark. So if you guys didn't know, I know they were doing it kind of in test um, on certain days. Poshmark would give buyers the options to send offers without sending the additional shipping discount which is a minimum like $2. So that is a big savings. And as far as I can tell, it's been a continued thing. Like this offer, I sent the buyer, I believe this was, I believe this was Saturday, $24, no shipping discount. So that's really good. And that sold within just eight days of me listing it. Again, a really, really quick flip. That piece I did get at a regular thrift store. I think my cost of goods on that was like $3.87. But I'm okay with that higher cost of goods because you know, it sold quickly as I expected it to. Linen pieces this time of year cannot stay on the shelves. And those are our four Poshmark sales. So the only Mercari sale that I had besides the one that sold this morning was this unbranded wrap skirt. I just actually, actually recently showed this in a haul video. And the buyer sent me a $21 offer, which I went ahead and accepted. Again, no fees on Mercari. So nice, so, so nice. So $21 offer, it took about three weeks to sell. Next, moving on to Depop. This first thing that sold, again, a really quick flip. I showed this just a couple haul hauls ago. This, the brand tag was cut out, but it was a reversible, lightweight, quilted jacket. The buyer sent me a $20 offer. I went ahead and accepted. It took only about two weeks to sell, and I had it listed at $25, so reasonable offers like that i am really willing to accept like i said earlier the next depop sale i was really excited about this you guys a lot of people loved this sweater in my haul video and in my short video that i posted i loved it as well this was by the brand ashley which is really funny but a buyer sent me a 20 oh wait no i sent a buyer an offer on depop of 25 dollars and 60 cents they accepted this sold in just under a month and it's a Christmas sweater you guys I knew it wasn't gonna sit long the pastels it was really unique really cute I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower the leaf blower that's what it sounds like right now I am so sorry so the next Depop sale was this vintage kind of patchwork artsy lag and look jacket I've had this for only about a month as well the brain was Erica something it was vintage like i said so brand doesn't really matter but buyer sent me a 28 dollar offer i had this listed at 35 dollars. i gladly accepted this sold in just about a month and this had a ton of interest on it a ton of interest so i'm really happy to see it finally go and i don't think i need to say that every order i say that all the time i'm really happy to see it go like yeah girl that's that's the point of your job of course you're happy to see it go you're not going to be happy that it's sitting, you know? So I apologize. I know I say that all the time in my videos. So the next Depop order, I actually went ahead and put in a box already. Funny, I got this Amazon package this morning and it was the perfect size box for this Depop order. But this was a like Y2K American Eagle corduroy jacket, Sherpa lined. This piece I actually listed pretty far into the winter season, like towards the end. So I'm really happy that it sold. A buyer sent me a $24 offer, which I gladly accepted. I think I had this listed at like 35, maybe $32. But again, since it's out of season, 
and yeah i just i want to see it gone i don't want to have to hold on to it until the next season so luckily amazon's labels are pretty easy to take off sometimes i'll just cover them sometimes i'll rip them off this one was pretty easy see my neighbors outside i honestly never knew there was a kid over there <laughs> that's funny so yeah this piece i don't think i said but this piece i've had for about five months so since this is on the side of amazon packages i did rip most of the label off but i do cross that off with sharpie just so there's not any extra barcode showing for the mailman i don't know if you have to but i definitely want to do that the next depop sale we have is this vintage like y2k abercrombie and fitch sweater men's maybe it was women's i know a woman bought it but i think it was a men's sweater i sent the buyer a 24 dollars offer they went ahead and accepted i've had that for going on six months now i got that you know in the winter time as well so i absolutely love one out of season pieces so because i don't want to have to hold on to them until next year or until the next season i should say which would be this year but the next depop sale again a pretty quick sale this sold within about a month and a half this was by the brand sophisticates it was a vintage midi skirt had flowers all over it super cute i sent the buyer a 24 dollars offer and they went ahead and accepted i have really been loving selling midi skirts maxi skirts this season like in the past i hated selling skirts they would not sell for me and I just hated selling them for some reason. Now this year, I really haven't been embracing it. Like I said, more specifically midi maxi lengths, but they seem to be flying off the shelf and I'm really finding some cute ones. So the last Depop order we have, this piece I've had forever, for about two years, which is shocking to me. This is a Tommy Hilfiger Y2K era pair of track pants they had side snaps the whole way down the bottom so you could break away the legs you know what i mean total y2k streetwear preppy you know all the things i don't know why these sat for so long i think i had these listed for around 30 dollars the buyer sent me a 22 dollars offer i went ahead and accepted i was so happy to get an offer like these pants have just been sitting forever and i don't understand why so yeah, I guess we will never know, but it's not surprising that they sold on Depop, you know, definitely younger crowd over there. Okay, so I actually missed a Mercari sale, didn't realize it. So I sold three things from Mercari, one on Friday, which was this, one over the weekend, and one today, which was the Victoria's Secret that I couldn't show you guys. But this piece was a Soul, the Soul movie, the Disney movie Soul button up shirt men's i've had this for seven months i actually found this at salvation army i remember when i found this because i looked up comps i'm pretty sure i showed it in a haul back then too but i looked up comps and it was shocking that these shirts were selling for like 40 dollars. so i'm pretty sure that's what i listed it at seven months ago a buyer came along and sent me a 26 dollars offer on mercari i think i have since lowered the price since i originally listed it at 40 but a buyer sent me a 26 dollars offer I went ahead and accepted my cost of goods for this was about three dollars so i'm really happy to see that older piece go anything that's older than like five months i am i'm ready to see go like i'm getting antsy and i'm like okay why aren't you selling you know what i mean so now the last sales we have are ebay this first thing in no particular order this is a max studio kind of shirt dress has embroidery by the neckline I sent the buyer a $17 offer. I read it, The reason I picked this up is because it was plus size, but I'm realizing, you know, with this brand, as well as many others, the pieces have to have a lot of stackable factors. Like this didn't have any prints to it, any patterns. It was plus size, but that was basically the only thing going for it. So I think that's why it took so long to sell. The buyer sent me a $17 offer. Oh wait, no, I sent the buyer a $17 offer and they accepted this piece i've had again for about a year this was a super colorful kind of artsy alfred dunner button-up blouse buyer sent me a 12 dollars offer i went ahead and accepted i got this from the bin so i paid a little over a dollar for it like i said with pieces that are old with pieces that i got from the bins i'm really willing to accept offers so 12 dollars 
is not a lot, but as Becky Park says, it's enough to buy you a French fry and it's enough to buy a couple French fries. So the next sale, actually this sold the same day I listed it on Friday. I was going on a little thrift trip with my friend Cassie and this sold an hour after listing it while it was gone. I showed this in one of my last hauls as well. This is a vintage Quacker Factory. Has embroidery that look like fireworks. Super freaking cute. The buyer sent me an $18 offer, which I accepted. I had that listed at like $23, something like that. Like I said, it literally sold within a couple hours and I was not expecting that. But the brand Quacker Factory plus size embroider pieces tends you really well and since this was like a firework print perfect for this time of year the next piece was a Hannah Anderson Hannah was a Hannah Anderson little girl's dress it was actually Christmas themed so not surprising that I still have it actually I listed this after Christmas so I'm actually kind of shocked that it sold so quickly this sold within just two months of me listing it some Hannah Anderson pieces, especially the really cute pattern ones, I will pick up all year long, even if they're Christmas or a different holiday. So the buyer sent me a $10 offer. I went ahead and accepted, you know, paid about a dollar for it at the bin. And $10 for an out of season kids piece is not too bad in my opinion. So this piece actually sold Friday, like really, really early morning while I was sleeping. Like I said, I went on a trip on Friday, so I was not able to ship this out on friday but i'm gonna tell you guys this so actually shame on me this is an ebay sale that's gonna get a late shipment ding because i was supposed to ship it out friday but anyways this is a vintage j jill i've had this for a while but it has butterflies all over it i thought it was super boho super kind of y2k cottage fairy core but um i believe the buyer sent me a 15 dollar offer i went ahead and accepted that i've had this for at least a year and I do remember I recently relisted and delisted it and switched up my title a little bit just to kind of add more keywords. And I really think that helped sell it. The next piece I've had for about four months. I got this from the bins. This did not have a brand tag in it, but on the front, it said that the brand was like above to beyond or something like that. It didn't make sense to me, but vintage vibes. I believe it was actually vintage. I probably should have left this behind. You know, this didn't get much attention on it. And I do remember when I got home and did comp, there were a lot of these listed. This was before I was really trying to be more strict, really trying to look up comps for more items at the bins. So this is a piece that I kind of just grabbed based off of style. So the buyer sent me a $10 offer. I went ahead and accepted because like I said, there was not much action on this at all. This next piece, again, was a same day sale. I believe this one sold on Saturday. I showed this in one of my last hauls as well, but this is a solitaire blouse. And I mentioned in the haul, you know, I'm really picky with this brand, but obviously I picked right this time. So this I had listed around $25. I'm currently having a 10% eBay sale running in my store, which I normally always have. And so after the 10% sale, the buyer paid my full price of $23 and 23 cents paid a dollar and 30 cents for that and like i said it sold the same day i didn't even have ch a chance to cross list it so that always makes me happy saving me some work and yeah that just proves you know that brand can sell not all pieces definitely gonna be picky but it can sell this next piece was a viewer sale and this was actually she bought this on thursday um, Thursday evening, Anastasia, thank you so much if you're watching. She is like my number one customer. I swear she buys stuff from me all the time and it just makes me so happy. So thank you so much, girl. So she bought this on Thursday. I messaged her and was like, Hey, you know, just a heads up. I'm going out of town tomorrow. Is it okay if I ship this out on Monday, possibly Saturday? I didn't have a chance to, I'm so sorry, but she said, yeah, that's totally fine. I'm not like in a rush or anything. So she also, when she buys items from me, she asks me not to put them in a poly mailer. Sometimes I forget, most of the time I try to remember. So we'll not be putting this piece in a poly mailer, in a clear poly mailer. I'm just gonna put it in the mailing bag itself. She's really trying to minimize her use of plastic and stuff like that. So she asked me not to put that in there, which I really, really can appreciate. So anyways, this piece I've had for about a year, 
Anastasia sent me a $15 offer, which I went ahead and accepted. I got this from like a fill a bag clearance thrift store that we used to have. We still have it, but they changed their pricing and stuff. I haven't been back in forever, but I got this from there. Super stretchy, super soft. Girl, you're going to look so cute in this. Like I said, I've told her before, like she has the cutest style and the pieces that she picks up for me. So cute. Like the one, actually the one skirt I just picked up over the weekend. I feel like you're really going to like, I'm going to show that in a haul coming up soon. Anyways, this next piece that sold on eBay was a vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren striped knit sweater. Now I believe this was a smaller size. It wasn't a plus size. And with Lauren Ralph Lauren, I really try to stick with plus sizes nowadays. So this piece I've had for about six months, got it from the bins. The buyer paid $22. I can't remember if that was my offer or the buyer's offer to me, but either way, $22, not too bad. This next thing is a J. Jill floral pair of pants. They were a linen blend, kind of like trouser style pants. These I've had for about five months, I listed these out of season, you know, in the winter time. So not surprised that they didn't sell until now, but my offer to the buyer or this actually might have been my full price after the ebay sale but they paid twenty dollars and 21 cents plus shipping the next sale is definitely a piece that i wouldn't pick up today i would get rid of if i would have gotten to it in my inventory purge but this is a zara traffic knit dress definitely a smaller size super plain like I said, wouldn't pick this up. I'm really picky with Zara pieces. They have to be really patterned, have a lot going for them, which this did not. So the buyer paid $12.21, which I believe was my offer to them. I only had that listed around $15. So happy to see that order piece go as well. And this next piece, again, a really, really quick flip. This was a Torrid bra, which when I showed this in the hall, I mentioned like, I don't really pick up bras anymore. They don't really sell for me. My friend Cassie picks them up all the time and can sell them. Well, I picked this one up last week at the bins. Or not last week. I guess it would have been two weeks at the bins. And you guys, it sold two days after listing it for my full asking price on eBay of $23.23. So I had it listed around $25. And then after my eBay sale that I have going on, like I said, 10%, the price came down to $23.23. And that was a full price sale. So... I am going to have to start looking at bras again, especially bigger sizes, you know, depending on the brand. Torrid seems to be a really good one. Cassie has luck selling Victoria's Secret. So yeah, I definitely think I'm going to be paying more attention to bras now. This next piece that sold, I kind of really quick clip, this sold under a week and just five days. I picked this up based off a of style. The brand was Women, Woman Within. I see that brand all the time. I don't think I've ever picked it up, but this was a size 5X, had pinstripes, had eyelets on it, popover blouse, super freaking adorable. I sent the buyer a $17.29 offer. So on top of my eBay sale, I normally will also send buyers a 10% offer on top of that. And this person accepted. So they paid $17.29 plus shipping. I always have my buyers pay shipping on all platforms, eBay, you know, Mercari, Poshmark, all of them. This next piece I've had for a decent amount of time, about nine months. This was a vintage Brooks and Dunn star print Western button down shirt. These pieces by this brand, actually, I did look up a comp on this, I remember, at the Goodwill Bins when I picked this up so many months ago. But pieces by this brand can sell for like $50. $40. Really shocked. I had mine listed at $50, probably a little too high. A buyer on eBay sent me a $34 offer, which I happily accepted. $34 for just a button-up shirt. I mean, that's that's pretty good in my opinion. Like I said, I've had that for about nine months, but I did get it from the bin, so I paid only a little over a dollar. Was this a Mercari sale as well? I think this was a Mercari sale as well, you guys. I'm losing it. I might be losing it, you guys. So this was another Mercari sale that I missed. So we actually had four Mercari sales this weekend, which is really, really good. I had almost 30 sales going out this morning, like 25 sales, which is really good. So this was a vintage skirt by Diane Gilman. I've had 
this list said for only like two months. The buyer messaged me and asked me if I would accept or send her a $22 offer. I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and do that. I had this listed at $35, which is probably a little bit high anyways. So I sent her a $22 offer and she went ahead and accepted. If you guys didn't know or Macari, buyers are only able to send you a certain percentage of offer. So like they can't be lowballing you a lot, which I personally like. So that's why she sent me that message because she was not able to send me a $22 offer herself because that's way too low, according to Mercari. But I went ahead and accepted it, like I said. Okay, moving back to eBay. The next sale I have is a vintage Ralph Lauren men's pinstripe button up shirts. I'm really picky with button up shirts, but the reason I picked this up is because it was a size 2XL, which is really good. It was an older Ralph Lauren tag. I do believe it had the logo on the front. And I did have this for about six months though. But I think I had this listed at like $30 and the buyer paid $26.83, which would have been with my 10% eBay sale. So $26 for a button up. Love that. This next sale was actually a sale that had three pieces in it. And this is a great example of how a lot of times or sometimes I will lot up pieces in the same listing. So these were all the same kind of L.L. Bean hiking shorts, all the same size, all different colors. I found them at the bin on the same day. So I probably paid about three, $3.50 for all three pairs. I had them listed at $50 altogether. I figured that was, you know, less than $20 a pair, which is really good. Um, I did have these listed for four months, which again, listed them out of season. So I'm not shocked that they didn't sell until now. But I had them listed at $50, like I said, for all three pairs. They didn't have much action on them, to be honest. But a buyer went ahead and sent me a $36 offer. I'm sorry, a $38 offer. And I went ahead and accepted. You know, like I said, I only have about 3 to $4 into all three pairs. So I'm happy to accept $36. $38. I don't know why I keep saying $36. <laughs> And then our last sale is a pair of London Fog little sandals. I mainly picked these up because of the style. I thought it was a perfect little lightweight sandal for somebody for the beach for the summer. These were only selling for like $20 brand new. So I probably should have left them behind. I didn't look up a comment until I got home. So I listed them right around $20. I've had them for about five months or so. And when a buyer came along and sent me a $12 offer, I went ahead and accepted that is you know normally i'd probably counter like 12 dollars for a pair of sandals that's a little low but um like i said they're not selling for a ton even brand new and i probably shouldn't shouldn't have even picked them up so i still made a profit they sold less than six months so definitely can't complain so you guys that is all i have to ship out today it is about 9 15 in the morning i actually got an early start today which i'm really happy about makes me feel you know, ahead on top of it. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of my setup. I am obsessed. I feel so much more motivated being able to sit here and work rather than just sit like on the couch. This chair I actually pulled from my kitchen. I don't have a desk chair right now. I don't really know exactly what I want as far as a desk chair goes, an office chair. I don't really want like a one on wheels, I don't think, like your typical office chair. I would love to thrift one or find one second hand. I don't know if that's going to be possible, but I'm not rushing it. This kitchen chair works fine. We have an extra one anyways. So until I get a new chair, you know, this will work just fine. But like I said, it really is just motivating, inspiring to be able to sit down at my desk and work. There's just, I don't know, no other greater feeling. And while I can't have a whole room as my office like some resellers can you know I'm really grateful that I can have this corner as my workspace and I'm just I can't stop looking at it I just love it so much so let me know what you guys think I am obsessed but I hope you guys are having a great day a great night whenever you're watching this I hope that you have a good weekend coming up and I hope to see you guys in my next video